So, are you enjoying yourself yet? Immensely. Sure you're not bored? I've waited nearly four years for this chance. I think I can endure another half hour. Good girl. You're growing up. What do you make of all that talk of a traitor? It wouldn't be the first time we've had leaky plumbing. Still, it's disquieting to say the least. It's happened before? Once. A few years ago, we lost several undercover operatives in Istanbul. It turned out they'd been compromised by their chief's very own administrative assistant. He'd sold us out for a measly 50 quid. 50 quid? Astonishing, isn't it? Trading men's lives for such a pittance. But spies are rarely well compensated for their treason. I wouldn't be surprised if this new mole is equally underpaid. Well, I hope when they catch the bastard, they put a bullet right between his eyes. And maybe a boot up his arse for good measure. You sound ready to volunteer. I'm dangerous when I'm upset. That's why you're always in trouble. All right. Munro's headed for the cafe. Watch for him on the second floor patio, coming from the left. What about the targets? Not sure yet. Pardon me. Uh, do you have the time? No, sir, I do not have a dime, and I don't have much use for beggars. Not a dime. The time. Don't get snippy with me, or I'll have you arrested. Are you deaf? How dare you threaten me? Oh, never mind. Coward! Would you like me to call out the targets for you? That would be lovely. On the roof to your left. I want to go home. But we've only been here for two days. How on your left. Coming out the door on the what? nearest balcony. It's so foreign. On the roof well, to your right. Well, it is a foreign country. I know that. But Canada is a foreign country too. Isn't this foreign? But I thought the reason you wanted to come here was that it is so different. Yeah. Why don't you try to relax and enjoy yourself? I'll bet you have a lot of fun if you just stop worrying. You think so? Sure. Maybe you're right. Of Dad, course I'm Bernie, right. Where's Let's that walk time? down to the Medina and see some sights. Okay. Straight ahead, to the right of the tower. Straight ahead, to the right of the tower. Straight ahead, to the right of the tower. On the roof to your left. Straight ahead, to the right of the tower. Straight ahead, to the right of the tower. To your left, on the far balcony. down the street on your left. Hooligans! On your right, street level. door of the hotel. I say, don't you people have jobs? <laughs> there must be a hole in my pocket. From down the street on your left. down the street on your left.
coming out the front door of the hotel. On your right, street level. Derelict! On your left, street level. I'll cover him for the next stretch. Get to apartment 12 and wait for my signal. Oh, and make sure to conceal your weapon or you'll cause a commotion. I heard he plans to marry the American girl. You mean the girl who refuses to wear shoes? I wonder if all American girls despise shoes. It seems very strange. <laughs> I'm in position. Good. He's almost there. Here he comes. Get ready. On your left. Coming around the building. yourself a customer this guy is too much on your right coming around the building not again where are you heading you towards you little time pass in front of the right window second story window on I your better left. find it quickly before the thieves swoop in like vultures heading toward you Watch for him to pass in front of the window. On your right, coming around the building. Second story window, on your left. Second story window, far right. Second story window, near right. You don't have to tell me that. I was standing right here. A little humility might suit you. I'm teasing. We make a pretty good team. Damn! They must have spotted you. There's a group of thugs heading your way. How many? Looks like six of them. Can you handle it? Of course I can. I'll meet you at the hotel in an hour. All right. Take care of yourself. First, I'm going to take care of some evildoers.
keep your men out of sight. We don't want to spoil our trap, do we? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. I mean, yes to the first part and no to the second part, sir. Shut up. Just do as I say, you idiot. You look like you need a monkey. Excuse me. I have a very fine monkey for you. Only $20 American. Sorry, I don't want a monkey. What do you mean? I don't want a monkey. Why not? Because I don't like monkeys. Now get that filthy beast away from me. Are you insulting my monkey? I'm sure it's a perfectly excellent monkey, but I don't want it. Now please leave. I'm very busy. Ten dollars. Uh. for our anniversary. Well, I'm I wanted to go to France, but Clark insisted on coming to Morocco. This vacation is exactly what I needed.
late as usual. I was beginning to worry. You always worry. Can you blame me? You're like an errant child. And you're like a fussy aunt. You could at least leave my gender intact. A fussy uncle, then. Thank you. I'm having fun. I can see that. But don't get reckless. We're not out of danger yet. I know. This place is crawling with thugs. Damn! How did they find us? We've been betrayed. It's the only explanation. Are you sure you weren't followed? Yes, positive. If they know about the hotel, they'll probably be waiting for us at the coast. We'll have to risk it. If we aren't aboard the Abigail when she sails, we'll have to get out of Morocco on our own. Or you could stay here. Permanently. Volkov! Get down! Let's go! I have dreamed about this day for six years. Bruno! I only regret I do not have time to make your demise more... eventful. After him! This is all my fault. If you hadn't been worrying about me, he never would have got the drop on you. <sighs> Silly girl. Worrying about you is all I have left. Don't say that! I've always had plenty to die for. You've given me something to live for. Then live. In your memory, perhaps. Bruno! The girl's in the lobby. Kill her! But why didn't you kill her, Mr. Volkov? I meant to, but my hunger for revenge distracted me. Let that be a lesson not to be ruled by your emotions. Excellent advice, sir. Well, I'll go shoot her now. Make sure there are no witnesses. You mean we should kill everybody? First, kill everybody. Then, destroy the hotel. Let our enemies search the rubble for answers. They shall find none.
Who's me! there? You can't hide from me, Volkov. I'll find you wherever you go. Kill her, you incompetent fools! I wouldn't give you a run. Thank <laughs> you. 
Huh? Who are you? Good afternoon. You're wasting your time. I won't talk. I have been trained to resist all forms of torture. We'll see about that. Do your worst. I'm going to ask you nicely. Where can I find Volkov? Nice try, but I'll tell you nothing. I'll ask again. Where can I find Volkov? And I'll say again, nice try, but I'll tell you nothing. I'll ask you one last time. Where can I find Volkov? What kind of two-dimensional halfwit do you take me for? You think I'll tell you something just because you asked me three times? I have a master's degree in economics from Princeton University. I'm not some idiot, you know. You don't even know where he is, do you? Yes, I do. What was I thinking? Why would Dmitri Volkov tell a lackey like you where he was going? Dmitri and I are very close. Very close. Mm-hmm. And I don't appreciate being called a lackey. I work very hard. It's not easy being a criminal, you know. There's a great deal of pressure. Goodbye. Wait, wait! Don't go! I don't know where Volkov is, but I do have something you may be interested in. It should only take about 15 minutes to get to the airport. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Excuse me? Not on your life, you scoundrel! I'm an American citizen! We have morals in America! I don't understand what you're talking about. This is unbearable! Pull over this instant! I'd rather walk to the airport than listen to this filth! I thought this was supposed to be a civilized country! sign of her. Are you sure she's coming? She'll be here. If she gets away, I will kill any man she leaves alive. Am I understood? Explicitly. Hmm.
Nothing. Just make. Hello? Who is there? Be apprehensive about this apprehension! Ah! The upper hand! Who's there? Oh, I am hearing things. Hello? There's a ship out there. Should we tell Mr. Bob? Who's there? Get everybody down low! Someone there? Hey! Who is there? Hello? There's a ship out there. <laughs> Don't make me run! Ah! Who, 
Who is it? There's a ship out there. What are you doing here? I don't like You're surprises. Come out. The front gate? You ran out of cigarettes. Are you all right? You ran out of cigarettes? You want to tell me you left your post because you needed a cigarette? I was only gone for a few minutes. It's. But it only takes a few seconds for someone to. Those <laughs> bullets are not my favorite. Are you okay? a few seconds for someone to sneak in here. Free! Freeze! I said to you freeze! It only takes a few seconds for someone to sneak in here. Freeze! Where you are! Are you okay?
no. Please. We will meet again, Miss Archer.